In this video, you'll learn to draw the mechanism of the reverse reaction, given the mechanism of a reaction in the forward direction. Here's another key principle in chemistry, called the principle of microscopic reversibility. Reactions proceed by the same mechanism in the forward and reverse directions. The interconverting compounds proceed by the same least energy pathway, through the same intermediates and transition states in both directions. Here's an example. Let's analyze the mechanism in the forward direction to start. You can pause the video and try the mechanism on your own first. We have to expand and map the mechanism as usual. In the first step, a new OH bond forms, and an OH bond breaks. We can draw the electron pushing arrows to represent this process. For the second step, we again expand and map the structures. In the second step, a new carbon-oxygen bond forms and a carbon-oxygen bond breaks. Otherwise said, a new epoxide forms while the original epoxide breaks. You will learn later that the mechanism of this step accounts for the configuration of the stereocenters involved, but for now our focus is on atom connectivity. For the third step, we expand and map the structures, then proceed. In the third step, an OH bond forms in the organic compound, and an OH bond breaks in water. Sodium hydroxide is regenerated. Now let's draw the mechanism for the reverse reaction. The products become the starting materials. How many steps does the reverse reaction have? The answer is three. It's the same number of steps in the forward direction as in the reverse direction. The reaction proceeds through the same intermediates, but bonds that broke in the forward direction form in the reverse direction, and vice versa. In the first step, an OH bond forms while well, another OH bond breaks, making water and an alkoxide, oxygen with a negative charge. In the second step, one oxygen-carbon bond forms while another one breaks. In the third step, an OH bond forms while the OH bond in water breaks, regenerating the sodium hydroxide. In summary, even though we often think of reactions going in a forward direction to generate a product, the reverse reaction is always possible, in principle. Often, one reaction, or one direction, is more favorable than the other because of the energetics of the reaction. You'll study those details in your courses as you learn various reaction types.